Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have my August favorites for you guys and I don't really have a lot because this summer I hardly ever wore makeup. I literally just had a bare face mostly every day since I don't really have like a full time job. I mainly do all my work on the weekends. Every once in a while it's a Tuesday or a Monday like tomorrow I have something, tomorrow's Thursday. So I mean it's very rare for you to see this makeup on me nowadays because usually my makeup was is like no liner, just lashes, face, and a little bit of eyeshadow and out the dough. So, I mean, I really didn't wear a lot of makeup, but I do have some products to share with you guys that I'm very excited about. And so, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and jump right in. So, here we go. So, the first thing that I fell in love with is this toner water from Lush. It's called Breath of Fresh Air. I normally use the one, what is it? Oh my gosh, I can't even think of it. The one with the tea tree in it, that is so, that is so weird. I totally forgot the name. But anyways, I usually use that one and I was almost out. So I went and picked this one up um, when I was in Austin and I absolutely love it. It really gives you just a breath of fresh air, if that makes sense. Like it just refreshes your face and refreshes your makeup and it's a good toner before you put your moisturizers on and it just kind of evens out the pH balance or whatever, makes the pH even, but yeah, I absolutely love this stuff. It is great if you need a new toner. I love it. Another Lush product is the Herbalism Facial Cleanser. I've tried all the other ones except the Marine one for really dry skin because I don't have really dry skin. Um, but this one is supposed to be good for oil if you have excess oil and in the summer I think everybody has excess oil and I normally have normal skin but lately I have been a little bit more oily so I did pick this up and I really do enjoy it I haven't used it a ton but I really do like it it's not like my favorite Lush facial cleanser but I feel like it really does help to soak up the oil and helps throughout the day especially if I have makeup on so yeah I've really been loving this and yeah, it has, let me see, gentle herbal cleanser with ground almond exfoliate and rice vinegar to mop up excess oil. Help has arrived for trouble skin. So, yeah, love this. I am obsessed with Lush. I just cannot get enough of them. So, yeah, obsessed. A mask I've been loving, and I'm not really sure if I've mentioned this on my channel before, is the Glam Glow Thirsty Mud Hydrating Treatment. I freaking am obsessed with this stuff. I literally will douse my face in this and just sit in it for like hours while I'm watching TV or doing my nails, whatever, and it literally just is so moisturizing and my skin literally just drinks it and soaks it up and by the time I come go to wash it off there's really not much left on my skin because my skin has just drank it it's crazy this is amazing it gives you like an amazing glow after you wash it off and just really like brightens your skin and just kind of refreshes your skin like you just need that every once in a while I know because of all the acne washes I use and you know the treatments and stuff I do and the masks I do need to do something to replenish the moisture that I've taken out so this is great for that and I've had it for a little while and I haven't used it up and also the smell is legit it is so yummy um, but yeah, I absolutely love that, especially when my skin is acting really dry. On to makeup, I really don't have that much, but of course, I definitely have to mention the Amrezy palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I don't know how you say her name, or I know her name is not Amrezy, but is it Amrezy? Amrezy? I have no idea, but this palette is so gorgeous. I have been using it almost every single time I've, I've done my makeup this month. And if you follow me on Instagram, you probably know that. Because every time I post a picture with makeup on, it's usually using these colors. So I've been obsessed with this. Of course, I love the caramel, the Morocco. Glisten is gorgeous. And I actually just posted a picture today where I used the iridescent purple um, on my lower lash line. And that was gorgeous too. So I've been obsessed with this. Everyone and their mom has been obsessed with this. If you don't have this palette, you need to go to Ulta and get it meow because it's like $29 and you get these amazing colors and this amazing quality. So you really can't beat that because that's a freaking good deal. So yeah, been loving this. 
This is the Amrezy palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And if you don't know Amrezy, she is like a famous person on Instagram. Her pictures are literally the best pictures in the world. She is so gorgeous and her makeup is always flawless. I literally just, every time she posts a picture, I'm just like, really? How do you look so damn perfect? Come on, Lee Troy. Come on. Some more eyeshadows that I fell in love with. And I actually recently just bought these. And I actually just filmed a tutorial with these. Um, this is the look that I'm wearing right now. And these shadows are just stunning. They're just amazing. These are the Makeup Forever Artist eyeshadows or something like that. Apparently they have over 200 and something or 300 and something colors. It's insane. But I've been loving these colors. I just got three. And what you can do is you can buy individual colors, but the palettes only come in one, twos, or threes. And it's actually better if you just go ahead and get the palette. You might as well because it's pretty much free, you know. Um, so I got three just to start off with to try them out. And I got this gorgeous like, um, I don't even know, is it olive kind of? Like an olivey, shimmery, beautiful, sh I don't even know, shade. And then a uh, really champagne-y gold. Kind of like shimmer shimmer, but more gold. And then I got this uh, freaking amazing, like warm, reddish brown. And it's just so freaking beautiful. And the thing that's amazing about these eyeshadows is they literally have 88% pigment in the eyeshadows. Which is amazing. I can't even describe it. And they're so creamy, so blendable, and they're huge. This is going to last me forever. This is the size of a MAC blush, I'm pretty sure. So, come on. I mean, it's really worth the money. If you want to spend the money, go ahead, because these are legitimately so beautiful. And in the tutorial, if it's up or whatever, then I'll leave the link down below. You'll see how amazing they blend out, and they're just beautiful. Last time I went to Sephora, I had like a bunch of points, so I finally used them and I got the little kit with the NARS kit. It came with a blush, an eyeliner, a little sample of the eyeshadow base, and a lip pencil. Yeah, I'm about to mention that. And I wanted to try the NARS Larger Than Life um, eyeliner, and the Via Veneto color came in it, which is just a black. And I've always heard that this is like the best eyeliner for your waterline because it really stays even if your eyes water. And supposedly it's just supposed to be the amazing. And it is. I love it. I just got the little sample size and I'm just totally obsessed. I probably will repurchase this once I run out because it really is an amazing, amazing eyeliner. And I just am obsessed. A blush that I have been falling in love with again. I've had it forever, but I kind of stopped using it for a while. Maybe because, I don't know. But this is Sun Basque from MAC. It is a gorgeous, very beautiful shade for the summer. And it's a gorgeous peachy sheen beautiful color like I just absolutely love it for um, summer days and obviously I won't get much use of this in the winter but it's a gorgeous peachy color that you just cannot beat and it makes your cheeks just glow it makes you look like you're just lit from within and I just absolutely love this blush and just so glad that I came back to it you know a little while ago, I went to MAC and bought a new Studio Finish Concealer in the color NC35. This one is more my skin tone nowadays. The one that I did have was NC42 because I used to be so tan. And I used to tan in the tan bed. And I really was that color, if you can believe it or not. But now I'm about an NC35, NC40 kind of. But, um... Yeah, I absolutely love this concealer. I forgot how much I love these Studio Finish concealers. They're great for blemishes. You can do it under your under eyes, but it's going to crease. Um, it's great for cleaning up your eyebrows, cleaning up your eyeliner if you mess it up. Or if you get something on your face, you can just touch it up. I just absolutely love this. And I will even put this on sometimes if I have a breakout. Um, or a little bit of redness or I have really bad dark under eye circles before I go work out. I'll put some of this on just to kind of make me look undead and it's just perfect. It lasts for my workout and yeah, I absolutely love this and it's just the perfect consistency, the perfect color and yes, I love this. A highlighter that everyone and their mom talks about and is obsessed with that I finally picked up because around here our Sephora did not have this color for the longest time and then finally Ulta came out with it and I was like oh 
So I literally got one of the girls I used to work with to hold me one of these just in case it sold out. Who knew? And so I finally got it. And that is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the color Opal. Oh my gosh, y'all. This is literally the most beautiful highlighter in the world along with Heat Wave from Estee Lauder. Like, it is so stunning. I was very shocked because it is more warm than what I expected. I was very shocked that I loved it as much. But I picked it up anyway and I was like, oh my gosh. Like, once you put it on your cheeks, it's a completely different thing than if you just swatch it in the store. It is absolutely beautiful. I'm so freaking obsessed with this. My thing is definitely highlighters. I don't know if you can see that, but oh my gosh, y'all. I have it on today. I don't know if you can really see it because these lights are so bright, but it is absolutely amazing. And if you do not have these, like these things, these Becca Skin Perfectors, you need to go get them because they're legit, legit, so good. So, of course, I do have a lot of lip products to share with you. I have been mainly doing some nude lips, but I did do a other few things. So from that little NARS collection, this pencil came with it in the color Rickajune Satin Lip Pencil. And it's it's not like a very, very opaque color, but it's just one of those colors that's like your lips but better. It just kind of tops off a really natural makeup look, and that's kind of what I do a lot of times. And I just love the feeling of it. It's so creamy and just beautiful. And I just absolutely love these. Of course, I got the small one, but I don't know if I'd repurchase it, but I do like it. That, that I mean, I got it for free, you know. But it's just a very easy color to go to if you just need something to put on your lips really, really fast and you don't have time for bright colors and lighting your lips and all that. I just absolutely love this color. A lipstick that I am obsessed with, I use this color on my clients, and it is just amazing. And it's the color Spirit, and this is from NYX, and it's one of their matte lipsticks. I just love this. Oh my gosh. The quality of this lipstick is just the bomb. I mean, seriously, for $4, $5, it's just amazing. I mean, it lasts on your lips. It's not too drying. It's creamy still, even though it's matte, and I just am obsessed. It's like a perfect nude without being it's not too orange not too peach it's like a perfect nude of course i like to pair it with a lip liner like tawny from jordana and then top it with like a lip gloss or something but i've been so obsessed with this color and this line in particular from nyx they are just amazing you can't just say anything else they're just amazing another affordable lipstick that i've been loving lately is this wet n wild lipstick called just peachy this is like 1.99 i saw this at uh, walgreens and i just was like huh two bucks whatever and this color is just beautiful it's just a perfect peachy pink color and it's a matte finish but same kind of thing with the NYX thing it's not too drying and it still has a little bit of a creaminess to it but this is what I wore in one of my pictures on Instagram where I just did all skin mainly and I had this on and I just absolutely love this color these lipsticks are really great and the Fergie lipsticks from Wet n Wild are awesome too I absolutely love those another lipstick that I've been loving is this Estee Lauder pure color Lasting Cream in Solar Crush. This is a beautiful coral lipstick. I bought this last summer and honestly it reminds me a lot of MAC Ablaze. I don't know if that's a like a full-time color, full-time color, um, but it the texture is a lot different. These are extremely creamy, but they last on your lips. I love that about them because I hate matte lipsticks that are so dry and you literally just want to take them off after an hour, but this stays on your lips, has great pigment, has great color payoff, and they're just amazing. And the packaging is just beautiful. I don't know if this is a permanent color, but I know that this line of lipsticks is really, really amazing. A lash glue that I've been loving is this Duo Brush On Adhesive with Vitamins. I don't know, whatever. But it's really nasty because it gets really sticky. But I absolutely love this. It is legit clear. Like, their original one says clear, but it's not. It, like, dries white. This one, you can't see anything left over. It's legit clear. Crazy. And so, I absolutely love it. It's super easy. You just take it off, 
swap it on the lash and then pop it on it gets sticky fast so it doesn't take forever to dry and I'm just obsessed with this stuff you know I just sorry other duo squeezable duo this duo is in town and the last thing that I've been loving for the month of August is these EOS lip balms I literally used to hate these I just didn't feel like they were very moisturizing and now I feel like they're a great everyday moisturizer I put this on before I go work out and it moisturizes my lips without putting like a thick coat of like a creamy buttery lip balm on and I feel like it's just really great for just everyday use and not you know a thick thick application of lip balm so I really have been enjoying these my favorite is the mint one which is the little blue one but it's in my purse somewhere so yes been loving this and if you need a new lip balm I would definitely check these out or the Nivea lip butters are awesome too I still use those or the rosebud salve from Sephora is my holy grail but yeah that is all for my august favorites i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and let me know if y'all have any requests down in the comments below because i have no creativity and i need literally some inspiration and some ideas because i just don't know what to film anymore it's insane i think that's everything if you aren't subscribed to my channel please go ahead and subscribe so you can keep up with me for future videos I can't really remember. I bought the a new color a little while ago. I can't remember. Oh my gosh! Why can't I do this? Oh, come on, Leroy. Why do you gotta drop? <laughs>